the deal. All right. Coach. You guys know the drill. I don't really need to tell you. <laughs> no new information. Everything's day to day. So, well, all, all good. I mean, just trying to get ready to get on the road. It's a early game Saturday, so important for our guys to get some rest here today, put the finishing touches on it tomorrow, and then get on that plane with a strong mindset and, and uh, ready to go down there into another tough environment. I mean, when we go to Florida, we have the same thing. We stay down in uh, uh, where is it? Ocala. Ocala. So, I mean, we have an hour drive up Saturday for the Florida game. For this one, you know, it's it's, it's not uncommon with, with some of these schools in the, in the conference. So, it's an early game. That's the only thing. Just, we've been conscientious about that all week, talk to them about getting their sleep, getting up, and getting ready to play. Guys, yesterday, Teeter and John West both brought up Ruffalo from the last time you played them. I don't know if anybody that day would have predicted how steady he's become for you guys. Just what kind of weapon is he? Yeah, he's been really solid. I thought, you know, Saturday you all saw that, and I talked about it in the, in the summer, how I felt like he was more consistent from the longer range. And Saturday was great evidence of that. He hit it, you know, and had several, you know, more yards, five, six more yards to go, I would think, on that kick. So he's been like that. I feel very good with him, really, anywhere inside of 54. I mean, we could try it a little further, but, uh, uh, you know, if it was any further than that on, I believe it was, what, fourth and six, or, you know, uh, you know I may, may go for it some just with the analytics and looking at things, but uh, it's always just uh, how I feel the game's going. I don't, I don't strictly go by one ball for the other, and, and, uh, uh, but I have a lot of confidence in him, and just like Saturday's kick, that was a big deal to go up two scores. We've seen Josh Caddis out there quite a bit the last two weeks. I don't think Will's thrown into him yet, but how is he doing in those other areas? Yeah, he, he does a good job. He uh, He's a guy that has a very good feel for the game. And he's another one of those tight ends that just kind of does everything pretty good. He's, he's, he's a tough blocker. He's really hard-nosed and, and tries to finish. Uh, he, he's got a knack for picking things up. He knows all the plays immediately, which is hard for a youngster, especially in this pro style with as much that you know, we do with tight ends. Uh, he does a really good job with that, and he's a good receiver. So we feel like he's a guy that's getting better, and you know the experience helps. We we utilize our tight ends, as you know, and, and uh, to have another guy like that that's kind of a complete tight end, it's very helpful. Going into SEC play, how important was it to get somebody like Zion so many snaps last week, going into the long stretch of an SEC season when you've already had injuries in that room? Yeah, we have had injuries in that room. I talked about this summer about having depth in that room and we're going to need it. You can see just with injuries and getting banged up, uh, you know, we need him. You know, so he has a lot of snaps under his belt. Um, getting him some good quality snaps last week was good. And, and uh, we have a lot of confidence in him. So how's Ty doing? Has he improved? Yeah, he is. He's doing better. Uh, yeah, he's, he's feeling better this week than he did last week. In the past, you talked a little bit about guys not being too amped at, at the start of games like this. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have any concern with Chris at all that was probably more eager to get out there and play than, than most yeah, people? Yeah, probably. Uh, I haven't talked to him yet. I, I, don't, I don't need to over-coach that. But I will probably talk to him, you know, in just five-minute conversation about just being who he is, just being him. He's played a ton of football. And... You know, he just needs to play within himself and play the way he's capable of, and that's all we need. Uh, he doesn't need to be anything extra, and, uh, but we welcome him back. We're excited to have him. I know our players will be, and uh, that experience and that toughness, it's just added, added depth to that position, and those guys have done a nice job, all of them. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably have a brief conversation with him, but it, it won't be much. Mark. Nothing, nothing too uh, earth-shattering. <laughs> Mark, we've talked all week about the run game that uh, that uh, Ole Miss brings. And you even said Monday there may be some more that they still have. They haven't showed us when it comes to the passing game. How do you prepare for that when they haven't put much of that on film yet? We we understand all their, their looks and where certain 
uh, play action and pop passes and different things could come into play. That doesn't make it any easier to defend. They put a lot of stress on you and different calls have strengths and weaknesses. And so uh, we try to prepare for as much as we can without chasing too many ghosts. Heard somebody joke a little bit yesterday about role reversal to some extent. You've got a quarterback throwing it all over the place now. Lane's running the football a lot. Yeah. And you guys kind of switch places a little bit? Well, uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say this about Lane. It's one of the reasons why he's a very good coach. He plays to his strengths, and he always has. And, you know, I go back competing against him for a long, long time and always really had a lot of respect for him as a play caller and, you know, getting the most out of his teams. And uh, he's been on some, un, you know, super talented teams, you know, that are very balanced and maybe some, you know, throw or run. And right now, I mean, they're 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 hard to defend. I mean, we all know they're 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 running the ball uh, very effectively, but they still have, uh, you know, very very dangerous weapons in the pass game as well.